Obi Wok here from AndroidandTech.com and welcome to this week's weekly app review. Um, first of all, I just had to say sorry for about the, the delays with the weekly app reviews. I know I haven't been pushing them out every week. I think it's been like a month since I uploaded my last one, but just to let you know, I've been very busy with other stuff, other commitments and stuff, but hopefully I should be back and I should be uploading uh, these weekly app reviews more regularly. And with that said, let's get straight into it. The first application we're taking a look at is The Verge. Um, this is an application for TheVerge.com. If you don't know about um, their website, they're basically a tech website. They report on different tech news that are happening all over the place. So they have tech news for different phones, tablets, anything to do with text. Uh, um, you can get all your latest news from here. Um, this is where I get some of my news from. So you've got the main page right here that shows you all like, the top uh, news stories that you can get. You have different sections. So if you just want news specifically related to Android, Apple, Blackberry, um, CS 2012, gaming, you know, you could just pick the category that you're most interested in and see all the tech news um, that's related to that. And um, you also got media as well. So they might have some videos, like a 90 second, uh, 90 seconds on a verge, dropping up some news stories and stuff. And you got following here. So we can follow them to you know to get like the latest updates. So let's click on the story for example, show you what it looks like. You got the title, you got the picture, and you got the text. You can get the source and everything at the bottom. You can share it, and you got the comments. I believe that is here as well. So you know the application itself is pretty fully loaded. Like I said, it's a great way to get all your tech uh, news, and you know just keep up to date what's happening, when phones are being released, what's been announced. And yeah, it's a very similar to the Engadget application. If you use that already, definitely go try this out. It's very good. And you can pick this one up free from Google Play. The next application we're taking a look at is Zombirds. Um, this is a game where you have a select amount of arrows and you just have to fire out the birds that are flying across the screen. So you do a little character there and you get three arrows to start off with. Each time you shoot an arrow, it does take away. So you have to make sure your shots are on target. And each for each um, bird that you hit, you do get an uh, extra arrow. So this is a game is about precision and making sure you actually go for the shots where you, you, you would actually get a kill. So let's see if we can get that. As you can see down there, each one I hit you do get an extra arrow. So you just have to try use them very wisely. There you go. Oops, my And I'm at arrows. And then it's toes up your score at the end. Shows you all of that. And then from here you could have a I think you could share your score straight to Twitter if you want, but you don't want to really want to do that right now. And yeah, this is the game, this is Zone Beds. It's actually a pretty good game. The graphics are very nice and clean. Um, very enjoyable to play if you want to kill some time. Uh, this is Zombirds, you can pick this up free from Google Play. The next application we're taking a look at is Google Translate. Um, this is an application where you could translate any other language into any other language that you want. Um, this is made by Google, so say for example you wanted to translate English into German, you could do that. So let's just type in this, hello how are you? And it gives you the translation of what it is straight away, it's pretty much instant. And if you don't really know how to pronounce it in that kind of language, you might have a bit of trouble. You could press this uh, little speech bubble or speech button right here. And it says how it's meant to say in that language. So you could just, you could basically kind of learn a few basic words this way. Maybe if you're going to Germany and you just want to learn like a few basic words just to say, you could easily do this. And also, if you wanted to um, input text via speech, you could do that. Hello, how are you? And you could do you could import text that way, and um, you could do a photo as well, which is very nice. And you've got a very uh, wide range of uh, languages. These are all the languages that are available, as you can see. Quite a good selection. So if you go into any country, you could kind of learn a few basic words or sentences. Maybe you want to try out and speak, test your German or French or anything like that. And yeah, this is a very good application. You also have conversion, you've got your history, and you've got your favorites as well. So 
if you have favorite words you wanna or keywords that you wanna remember and use later on, you could uh, favorite it. And yep, that's about it for the application. Um, it's a very good application if you're learning different languages. You go into another country and you know you you wanna know a few words, so you're not completely useless out there. But anyway, you can pick this one up free from Google Play. The next application we're gonna be taking a look at is a Twitter client for Android. This is Twiddle. Um, this is this is a Twitter application that was recently released the other day and it's very good. I've been using it for for about a couple of days now and it's been very very easy to use. Very clean and simple interface. Nothing too complex or not too many features kind of stuffed in there. Um, this is the main page here. You've got your timeline on this page. You can scroll across again. You have all your mentions. And you can scroll across again and you have your direct messages. Um, these, uh, this is what it looks like. If you wanted to send that tweet, you could just tap here and send that tweet saying anything you want. And you could also add pictures and attachments uh, while you're in that page. You've got a search button up there to search. And I was going to show you what a profile looks like. So we're just going to jump into someone's profile. It has um, the people that they're following, their followers listed. And from here, you could have a follow on and follow them as well. So let's scroll across. You got all their tweets. You scroll across again. You have all of their mentions, which is here. And you could scroll across and it has all of their favorites. So, you, you know, it does show a lot. And I do like this feature where it shows the person's mentions, not some other. Twitter clients don't really do this but I do really think that's a nice feature so let's go back we're just going to show you how you could customize it up and make it look a little bit different so we're just going to jump into settings and from here you could um, choose what theme you want this is the preset theme the default one you have the market theme so if you're a fan of the the marketplace and you really do like how it, how, the, how it looks you could set this one let me just show you how it looks you can see it kind of has that same style of the android marketplace you may you may not be a fan of it they've got other ones there as well you got the light one and you got the dark one and you could also customize up the colors as well so if you wanted like a bar to be a certain color the menu items and all of that stuff um, it's very customizable and you could make it look the way you want it to look and um, you got more things here you got you could configure your categories your font size SSL encryption you can tick that if you want make it more secure and yeah this is just a quick look at Twiddle um, it's a very simple application and also one more thing if you wanted to reply to someone or retweet them you just hold long press on the tweet and you can do it that way very simple to use nothing too complex or anything like that definitely go check this one out it's free from Google Play the next application we're taking a look at is Word Hero and this is an application where you get um, like a grid of words and you just have to try find as many words as you can and there's a lot of them to find so we're just going to start up and I'm going to show you so these are the words uh, you get um, it's a 4x4 four four grid and there are 335 um, words that you could find in total so it just gives you an idea and it gives you like I think it's like 2 minutes or a minute 50 seconds or something like that to find as much words as you, as you can so we're just going to start things off and see if we can find a couple words um so I see star tart homes I think we could go across and get homes as well nope um but anyway, um, this is a quick look. I did manage to find like a couple words. There's obviously a lot more words you can find. There's 335 words to find. I don't know if you can find them all in the time that they give you. But this just gives you a quick idea. If you really want to kill some time or you're good at um, finding words in these type of games, definitely go check this out. Um, it could even help you discover new words that you don't even know or... You know, just to keep your mind in check. And at the end of it, it shows you all the words that you could have found. So you could scroll through all 335 words that you could have found. And it shows you how what percentage out of the words you found. So I only found 2%, which is terrible. But this is just a... Uh, oops, let's go back. And it's gone. But anyway, you saw all the different words that you could have found. It lists all of them there. And those are all the ones that, that you could have made. You just have to really try hard and find them. But anyway, this is a great application and you can pick this one up free from Google Play. 
and the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is a live wallpaper not widgets live wallpaper so we're going to jump into live wallpapers and the live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is paperland so we're just going to set up and you've got the clouds in the background the hills and the cars kind of moving along you could go into settings and you could um customize it up you could um change it up randomize it you could add in your own background if you want you could change the scenes and the color of the objects but uh, most of these features are limited to the pro version so you need to get the pro version to um, get most of these customizations and um, these features but we're just going to set the wallpaper and i'm just going to show you exactly how it looks so you can see let's try go to a blank screen so you see they've got the cars moving in the background and when it um when it goes uh night time it does get darker and during the day it does brighten up and you see the sun in the background and everything it's just a very nice simple live wallpaper for you to go and try if you haven't tried this before definitely you go check this out it runs pretty smoothly on the htc one x and it probably will work on most other phones as well it's just really nice um live wallpaper but anyway that's about it for the video don't forget to leave your comments below tell me what you think and also recommend me some more applications for the next video as it does help me get the videos out a lot faster and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching peace <laughs>